Florida mom reportedly fed her daughter tapeworms, so her daughter could allegedly lose weight. Toilet bowl full of tapeworms. Blah. She had pooped all these tapeworms. Are tapeworms a new diet fad? There are a lot of fad diets out there that are extremely dangerous, even deadly. This, though, takes it to a whole new level. Involuntary dieting. You give your daughter a pill, tapeworm inside hatches, starts to grow in your stomach. Internal medicine physician Dr. John Hong joins me now to talk about how common this is. Not that a mom would give it to her daughter, but in terms of tapeworm, have you heard this being used to diet? I don't want to date myself, but back in the 70s, when I was in junior high, my biology teacher told me about pills that I had to have tapeworms. But I have not seen it in the 20 years I've been practicing medicine. I have never seen anyone with a tapeworm. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know they were selling pills that had tapeworms. It's pretty disturbing. Yeah, speaking of disturbing, this girl is okay. We don't know how she's going to be psychologically, knowing that her mother gave her this. Is she lucky, doctor, in terms of what could have happened? Well... As far as long-term effects of tapeworms, most of the people who get it will have malabsorption problems, especially vitamin B12, but it takes a while for you to get B12 deficiency symptoms, including dementia, uh, nerve damage, so you can't feel your hands or your feet. Um, probably fatigue and anemia would be the first things that someone's gonna feel when they have a tapeworm, um, especially the fatigue. But also, from what it sounds like, if these tapeworms are like the fish tapeworm, which I suspect it is, from being the size it is, it can actually get up to 12 meters. Isn't that like 30 feet or something like yeah. that? And if they bundle up in your GI system, they can actually cause obstructions of your GI sy system, including even your gallbladder, your pancreas, and that can be a medical disaster. I'm looking at my Dream Team faces, and Eric is, is not happy with that detail. <laughs> and I apologize at home if you are eating. The thought of that, and I'm sorry to spare you the grotesque details, but the worms apparently, when she was getting sick, were moving around trying to get out of the toilet. It is true. So, doctor, does this happen in everyday life? Is there a possibility we could get no. the tapeworm without taking this pill? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing. I mean that, that's why this is on the news. I like, I, like I said, I've never seen anyone with tapeworm. Now I've read about tapeworms, yeah. and uh, maybe in other countries there are. But uh, yeah, it's something, especially as long as these tapeworms are, that's pretty disturbing. That you know, that's how she found out about it. But actually, the majority of people don't know they have a tapeworm until it comes out and they see it in the toilet bowl, or they feel like some kind of wiggling and irritation down below. I won't go into details on that. Eric, what are you thinking when you hear this, that you're um, not going to have this, spaghetti for dinner? This is just totally God. disgusting. The thought that a mother would give her yes. daughter a parasite for any reason uh, is very disturbing. And she should be brought up on charges because that is mm -hmm. child endangerment at the very least. Mm -hmm. And luckily, nothing happened to the daughter where the doctor was just telling us where she could have possibly died and had a very serious infection of some sort. Uh, mm -hmm. The mother is very lucky in that case. It really sounds, Darren, like a movie that this mother would do this. It doesn't sound real. It, it does, but it, am I the only one who's, like, excited to turn, to tune in to Discovery Fit and Health to actually watch this story? But it is, I mean, bes to be serious about it, besides the idea of a prosecution, this is why the Department of Children's Services is around, to protect mm -hmm. the well-being of kids, mm -hmm. to make sure that parents are making decisions in the best interest of their children. And I don't think that this pageant mom was doing anything of the sort. The good thing is, as right. the doctor mentioned, this is extremely rare you would hope so <laughs> Thank God.